why is the voltage measured on my terminals different from the voltage reported by the daily BMS. Hi folks, I'm Roger from Off Grid Van Life and in this episode uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the difference between the voltage that you would measure on the terminals of the battery versus what uh, you would see on the on the app. So I've got it uh, running on the app here and uh, this is a very common support issue that we face. A number of people uh, consider that there's something wrong with the BMS um, and uh, we talk them through it and almost always they, they're happier after they've spoken to us. So let me start off by saying, for daily anyway, uh, and this is not true of all BMS makes, but for daily there is almost always a difference between what your app is reporting as in through the Bluetooth dongle versus what you measure on the terminals. And uh, those of us who are used to it have sort of forgotten about that and, and it just doesn't worry us anymore. Um, <clears throat> but just to show you what this difference would be, so the, the app is showing 13.3 volts. Um, it, this battery is pretty cold so it stopped discharge, but that's for another video. Uh, it stopped charge, rather. So let's measure using this multimeter and I don't I haven't checked this multimeter for accuracy but basically it is showing 13.17 um, it was showing earlier on it was showing just over 13 so a uh, little bit a little bit less than what uh, the the um, BMS is showing so let's just talk about that uh, for a bit so that uh, if, if you have a daily BMS and you're worried about that voltage difference and hopefully after this video you won't be so worried about that. So the daily uh, measures the voltage directly off the cell so it, it's got a set of balance leads like these ones that you can see and um, these, uh, these plug into the BMS and then you go into your main negative terminal and then to each of the positive terminals. And what is, what is happening is that, as I said, the DALI is measuring exactly what voltage it sees on the actual cells. After that, um, it goes through two processes that can drop the voltage a little bit and, and the final uh, measurement across the terminals will be less than what is uh, shown on the app. The first is that it goes through a shunt of sorts, so like a smart shunt, where it, it needs to drop the voltage ever so slightly in order to measure the current that is flowing through the BMS. That is pretty much the only way that they can actually measure that current, is through a form of a shunt. Now that shouldn't drop the voltage very much, in fact very little, but just enough that you would actually be able to measure the difference. The second is, <coughs> within the BMS there are, are two, they call them MOSFETs, um, and it's like a relay. So there are two separate MOSFETs in the BMS. One uh, will allow or disallow discharge, and one will allow or disallow charge. Now. The discharge is obviously when you're drawing uh, power off the battery to run your lights or your motorhome or whatever you're, you're doing. And generally that MOSFET will kick in when you reach your low volt disconnect, so to protect the cells from permanent damage when they get to a certain low point, um, the MOSFET will uh, disconnect the discharge so that you can't damage the cells. Um, <clears throat> likewise, the uh, charge MOSFET will generally disconnect charge under mostly under two conditions. The first condition being that you have reached a, a high voltage level in one of the cells and it needs to stop the charge to protect the cell. And the second is if the, if the cells are too cold then they shouldn't accept any charge. Uh, like if they're below zero degrees centigrade then they should not accept a charge at all. And a bit of waffle there but the point being that the MOSFETs are not that efficient. They are somewhat inefficient and there is some voltage drop um, when you go through the MOSFETs. And different, it's not actually constant, this is the interesting thing. You can take two batteries, put them side by side and the two seemingly identical daily BMSs but the one will, will show a bigger voltage difference than the other. And we don't generally worry about that. In fact, to be honest, we don't even bother about the voltage that this thing reports. We just use the, the app to, to 
diagnose problems with the cells and see why it has uh, stopped discharge or, or more likely why it stopped the charge. Um, but for, for those that are really uh, where it really bugs them and they want to get it reporting exactly the same, there is a setting that you can change in the BMS called the CADC and that stands for uh, uh, Current Amps Direct Current, that's what it stands for, Current Amps Direct Current setting in the BMS that can be changed or calibrated so that your BMS is reporting um, closer to the true voltage on your terminals. Um, personally I'm not interested in that, I don't need to know that, I actually want to know the voltage of the cells themselves rather than the voltage coming out of here because I have a myriad of other devices that tell me what voltage I've got coming out of here. In order to set the CADC, or to calibrate the, the CADC, uh, it is necessary before you build the battery out uh, to connect your BMS to a PC. So you can't do it through the Bluetooth dongle. So once you've installed it into the battery like this and everything is glued down, you're not going to be able to get to that. So there is a special cable that you can get from DALI that allow you to connect the BMS to a PC. And there is some uh, software that you need to run and in that software, you are able to uh, change the calibration of the CADC. And uh, then you can get the um, reported voltage on the BMS to be uh, more similar to the voltage in the terminals. I Personally, I wouldn't bother with that, and we haven't. We've got several daily BMSs running um, with friends and family, and, and we've got literally hundreds of them out there with um, customers. I wouldn't actually worry about that. Um, I wouldn't take the the voltage reading too seriously that comes out of here. This is for diagnostic of what's happening on your cells. Just use another device. So use a smart shunt or any many, many other voltmeters and other devices to measure the actual voltage coming off here. And actually, to a large extent, you're not really worried about the voltage that comes out as long as it stays constant and is okay. You're more really more interested in uh, you know what the amp hour is drawn and, and remaining are. So folks, the, hope that's helpful and hope for that that will answer the question that some people will have as to why the, there's the voltage difference between the BMS and the terminals. See you in the next episode. Cheers.